Hello YouTube, it's me Leechin from the online code coaching and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at creating some simple AIs, AI that will follow um, the player, the targeted player and also avoid any obstacles that will come between you and the player. So uh, very smart and we're going to be using the nav mesh component that comes standard now with Unity 3D. So in my scene, uh, real simple, the standard camera and um, directional light. And I create a plane for the floor. I've done nothing to the plane. I haven't touched it. But I did make a little material, um, you know, a little green and a soft green. And I added to the uh, to the to the plane. And also, I just create another material here, which is blue. And I've added it to this player, and then another cube, uh, just to indicate where the uh, the forward of the the forward facing of this cube is is uh, basically which direction it's facing. So this is actually my player. We're about to build the AI here in just a second. Just wanted to just get you get you up to speed, um, so you can see exactly what I have going on here. So nothing fancy, and another uh, a quick little player uh, move script that I've coded. This is what it looks like. Go ahead and pause the video if uh, if you need to. But that's what it looks like. Um, nothing much going on there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some obstacles um, along this plane real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a couple of cubes. Right. And I'm just drag it above the plane uh, just a little bit. There we go. And I'm actually just going to make them bigger in, in a couple of different uh, sizes. So let's do that. And then um, I'm actually just going to uh, duplicate this. Maybe put one over here and uh, make it longer. Um, let's duplicate this one here. And uh, we'll just well, we'll go this direction with it. And that's about right so all I have right now if I play is just this this cube this little guy here and um, what I'm gonna do next see um, what I'm gonna good uh, gonna do next here is let me just put the camera in a, a very nice position here and just have it stick with the player it will make a lot more sense like Maybe like a third person view. That's fine. Then just parent it to the um, to the player. So when I play, um, I have this. Yeah, I could just walk around and and uh, do some cool stuff. All right. So that's it. Let's make this basic AI. It's really just going to take a few seconds. It's so easy to do, and you'll be able to avoid all these obstacles it will chase you till the end of the world and also um now it's going to start uh, uh, following you immediately but i'm going to have another video um continuation of this one where i'm going to show you how um just like the camera's perspective right here you can see how it views in somewhat of an arch an arch <laughs> an arc <laughs> You can see how it, it's going like, what, about a 40, de 40 degree angle here and maybe another 40 there. And so it is this cone, I, I don't know why I said art for it, but there's this conal like view. Um, it would be cool if the AI won't just follow you because you're behind it. It would be cool if, he, if, if, if you could do like detect when he's in your perspective or when you're in his perspective and then he would follow you. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in the next video. So if uh, if you don't see a link uh, somewhere on this video for that next video, then I haven't made it yet, <laughs> but I'm definitely making it. Um, so go ahead and subscribe so you get the alert when that comes up. Um, I'm gonna make it like in the next couple of days. So <laughs> it's gonna be less than a week, all right? All right, so uh, let's make our AI. What I'm going to do is to make things simple. I'm going to duplicate the player. See here, got me another player. 
I'm going to rename him to enemy and the May. <laughs> Oop. Rename him to enemy, remove my player movement script because I don't want to control him. And also the camera. Let me just quickly make another uh, material. I don't really care about the name. And I'm going to put this one on the enemy and just give him a different color. There we go. So real quick again, and I'm going kind of slow because I'm used to teaching a lot of people that are new to Unity. But if you're really um, experienced, please don't get all nasty with like, hurry up, hurry up. I'm getting there, but I just want to make sure everyone understands everything that's going on. So here's our enemy, little still guy right there. He doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on the enemy, we're gonna add component, and we're gonna add a nav mesh agent to him, all right? Now, if this dropped down for any reason, uh, did not say humanoid, make sure it is checked uh, as humanoid. Secondly, to make sure he doesn't fall to the floor, you see that there is this um, collider. If I can turn off this, so you can see it. This other like cylinder collider that um, that shows up. See the round top. Just make sure the bottom of it is not going through the floor. So to adjust that, you can adjust this base offset. And if you go up, it goes down. See the value goes up, it goes down. The value goes down. You can see it goes up. So you make sure it's like boom right there see on top of your uh, platform and not below that's just one little thing I want to point out um, next we want to go ahead and just click on our um, platform so this is all of the area that he can walk click on it and set it to static cool once you set it to static you see um, we're gonna go to our navigation and if you don't have this uh, this little tab this window um, it's really easy to do guys just go up to windows and in here you should find it if you have the uh, version that I'm running or higher then you have AI and then you have navigation so click on that and you get your navigation window now with the plane selected and inside your navigation tab on the object tab inside that tab see I'm gonna make sure that um, these are checked and then you're gonna click down this drop menu and check walkable. So these are all walkable paths for um, this AI. And then you go to bake and apply your bake. Let me do one thing. Turn this off because then it will take forever. If yours is gonna take forever, do what I did. Go to uh, Windows, Render, Light and Setting, and just turn off this bake global. Um, I can't see the full word illumination I suppose just turn that off and then uh, hit bake see it happens almost immediately alright so all the blue is where he can walk so next you want to do is go back to the object tab and then select these stilled objects these objects that are in the scene that won't be moving but there are obstacles right you select them you can do one by one or select them all at the same time like I've just done so you have to select all of them at the same time right um, and then just go up here check the navigation static check this and say not walkable and head back to bake and then just hit bake and you'll see that what Unity has done is it's made these corresponding area where the AI is not allowed to walk, but it is um, walkable on the rest of this platform. Now I want to show you something cool. If I go back to the inspector and back to my enemy, um, just that nav mesh agent alone is pretty neat. If you add a rigid body to your um, enemy, believe it or not, he will roam around randomly on the paths or in this environment that he's allowed to walk. So you see, he's watching him here. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? So you see, it's already been set up. He knows the areas that he can go and the areas that he cannot 
go. So he will, um, he will not fall off. <laughs> Watch. He will not fall off. He will probably go to the end and stop. See? He's just, he's just there. And then at some point he might turn around and start walking the other direction. Now, to tell him to follow the player or or uh, try to attack the player is really simple. And we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and create a script for this enemy, put it on the enemy. And uh, there's a lot you can do with this. There's so much possibility here. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna right click, create new C sharp script. I'm just gonna call it uh, enemy. As you can guess, I'm just going to put this on the enemy. Second here. There go. Add some lag. Uh, enemy. Drag, drop it on the enemy. Done deal. All right. Crack it open. Let's go ahead. Let's make a reference to our um our player, so the enemy can target the player. Um, you guys know how to do this. There's many ways you can public. Um, uh, there's many ways you can do this. Um. Wow, can't spell public. There's many ways you can do this. Public, um, transform, and then I'm just gonna call it player. You could target the player uh, via um, the tag or something like that. So you could just make this private, and then you know, player equals um, game object that's fine. You know, with tag or with a name, however you want to. But I'm going to do it the way that's not necessarily the correct way to do it because when you start multiplying your play uh, your enemies then you got to kind of like drag that in most it's it's a little bit too much so the correct way that I would say for you to do this I'm going to show you how to do it right now is make sure your player is probably just tagged player and then make this um, private right and then assign it through the start function. So you can now just say um, player equal game object dot um, find with tag, not objects with tag, but just object with tag. And then the name is player, just like that. But it is a transform. So mine is, is showing red because I'm getting the object, but not the transform. So boom, and it's fixed. Right, and now um, let's also make a reference. So this enemy has the mesh uh, agent on it. Let's make a reference to that. And again, we're not gonna make it public. Private is always the best um, option here. And you'll see that nav mesh is not popping up and that's because we just need to import our unity engine.ai. And you'll see now we have access to uh, the nav mesh agent. Um, I'm just gonna call it nav for short, and then in here in the update we can just say nav dot set destination, and as you can guess, the destination it will be the player's um, position. And because I'm doing this inside the update, it's always going to have the player's new position, even though we're walking around. So with that set up, guys, and I know that was quick. But again, it is a video. You can always slow it down. Um, with that set up, you can see here now that you should have this guy following you. Um, let me see here. Object reference not set to, oh, 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 oh my fault, my fault. We're missing one thing. Um, yeah, we didn't tell it what, <laughs> what this was. So just like we did uh, tell it what the player was, we didn't tell it what the nav was. So let's go ahead and do that. Nav and tell it that nav is the component that's on you called nav mesh agent. So just like that, get component basically says the component that's on you, the, the one that's called the nav mesh agent, that's what nav is. So now that we have actually done it correctly, head back into Unity and this tutorial is basically over. You'll see that um, you'll start following the player. What did I miss this time? I keep missing something. Um, tag player, not the. Oh, gosh. I misspelled. I'm sorry. This is not how you spell player. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that's not how you spell player. 
All right, so I'm just hit this button here that says save all. I just like, that's that's my thing. You can control S. Um, player is spelled correctly now. Head back into Unity. Um, stop the game and replay it. And then it's time for us to avoid him. You can see he'll be coming at us. And you can see here now, I can go behind an obstacle. This is gonna be so creepy. And uh, let's let's keep an eye out for him. I don't know which direction he will be coming from. Ah! <laughs> that's kind of scary. I'm sorry, that's kind of scary. So uh, my cubes, I just realized they don't have any um, colliders on them. No, they do, they do. But I'm not using force to move because you're not using rigid body to move. Uh, you can go through things, right? So if I added a rigid body to my uh, my capsule right now, I wouldn't be able to go through stuff. But you can see I'm not using rigid body to move, so I'm not gonna fall or anything. But you can see here in action, he will he will chase you. And let me let me actually get us a better view, All right? Like something like that. And then um, let's put this. He's chasing me. Um, you can see here as I sprint away and I go like here he is indeed going to find his way towards me he's not going to go through these obstacles I'm going to sprint away over here hide <laughs> as I'm hiding I'm going to watch him He's, he's coming that way. Oh, no, he's coming that way. But yeah. Um, so pretty neat, guys. Pretty, pretty neat. But that's all I got for you today. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, there's so much you can do with this. Uh, some examples are, you know, right here, instead of having the player just follow him, uh, you know, regardless of position, uh, we're going to probably have a if condition here. Or we can just check if the player is within the enemy's line of sight. You can also do it based on distance. And right here, this simple little setup makes for some really great, interesting game ideas. I'm sure you guys are aware of like uh, Solid Snake or like Splinter Cell. We can do a lot of uh, stealth based games here where you might have um, multiple enemies along um, your scene. And you just have to like avoid them um, to maybe get to a certain item so you can see here I've made something similar here in just a second it's it's mad it's crazy um, but right here now they're just uh, they're just following me by default but you can have certain um, certain conditions in here where you know it's it's about being stealth or avoided the enemy all that cool stuff but anyways guys again <laughs> i'm so bad at ending videos that's it for me today i hope you guys enjoy if you learned something if you have, if you have any questions leave in the comment below i'm super excited we hit um 500 plus uh, subscribers which is pretty nice it's not a lot <laughs> but it's super super nice to have so i appreciate you guys again it's leading from the uh, online code coaching, and I'll catch you in the next one.